Okay, now we're going to take a look at cyclohexane. Here's a problem with cyclohexane. When we draw it out here, we got our hexagon. This angle of the carbon to car carbon, carbon, carbon uh, bond between this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, what was that, about 120? It prefers, it would rather be an angle of 109.5, that tetrahedral angle. What happens is this doesn't stay flat. It buckles to get that angle. And it can buckle in a couple different ways in various conformations. I'm going to show you the uh, more popular ones to draw. That is the boat and the chair. But there's also things like a half chair and a twisted boat and such things. But I'll, I'll show you the boat and the chair. It can buckle like this where two ends kind of bend up, and if you can use your imagination, that looks like a boat. And so this is called the boat conformation. A boat conformation is not a totally stable conformation. Here's the reason. Uh, we're going to have a hydrogen here, and a hydrogen here, and these two are going to bump into each other. And uh, for what we call steric effects, or sterics, the problem is uh, whenever you get entities, atoms that have electrons next to each other, those electrons don't want to be around each other, so there's a repulsion. These two are going to be repulsed by each other, and they're just a little too close for comfort. And so because of that, this is a, a way that this buckles to relieve the bond angle strain, but not its favorite. The favorite way is what's called the chair. This is, by favorite, I mean stable. And uh, I'm going to try my best to draw it. Uh, there we go. That's how I draw it. Uh, your instructor may or may not have a particular way for, them, for you to draw it, but you need to get used to drawing these things. What you're going to notice is opposite sides, uh, if you're artistically gifted, are parallel. So these opposite sides are all parallel. Uh, to each other. Now, each of these carbons are going to have two other entities or species bonded to them. In the case of cyclohexane, it's going to be all hydrogens. There's two hydrogens bonded to each carbon. Remember, every carbon can have four bonds. And so, for example, this one, two are shown, so you need to draw two more. Okay, how do you draw those? What I do is I start at the point and I draw a vertical line up. And then I go around drawing opposite vertical lines. So that's pointed up, this one goes down. Up, down, up, down. So you can see at these four corners, they're all pointed away. They're always pointed away from this center. And then you've got these two kind of look like they're pointed in towards the center. Now, how to draw the other hydrogens? Well, the other hydrogen uh, is always going away from the center point and parallel to the lines that are two away from it. So for example, this line or this line, you draw something parallel, somewhat looking parallel to it. For this one, again, we're going to go away from the center and looking like one of these two, kind of parallel to those. For this one, again, going away from the center, something kind of parallel to this. For this one, away from the center, something parallel to one of these two. For this one, away from the center, something parallel to one of these two. And then one more, uh, right here, away from the center, uh, and something parallel to one of these two. Kind of like that. That's where all your hydrogens are. I can label them like this. You need to get really comfortable in drawing this thing. Often, they don't need you to draw the hydrogens. Uh, you're just going to draw other kind of, quote, special substituents on here. And you don't necessarily draw the center point. That was just for our artistic nature. Uh, so there we go. There's the chair. Uh, now what uh, you want to get used to is some of, a little bit of the terminology here. These vertical lines, all the vertical lines are called axial positions. Axial. And all the non-vertical lines are kind of at a slant, at an angle a little bit. These are called equatorial. Equatorial positions. The equatorial position is sterically favored. That means it is the most uh, free and most away from everything else when you're at the equatorial position. 
the axial positions, like these three, though they look far away in my picture, are actually somewhat close to each other. So they can kind of bump into each other sometimes, uh, and that causes some steric hindrance. So, when you get a question about drawing a chair, cyclohexane, stable position, you're going to put big bulky substituents on the equatorial positions, always. Or as many as you can get on the equatorial positions. Um, and that will always give you the most stable uh, entity.